Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert. And in this video, we're going to take a look at using Logic's compressor as two bus master glue style compression. Now, I'm going to start by calling it up on the main output, but I'm going to call up the dual mono version. And I've got add limiter after it. And I'm simply using this as a kind of brick wall. So it's not supposed to be doing anything on its own. So here's what we're going to be working with. Now I'm gonna choose Vintage VCA, and that emulates the SSL bus compressor, which is renowned for the glue effect to be used on a two bus. Now, because we have left and right separately here, we need to set the model and all the parameters individually for each. So let me start by dialing something in fairly conservative. Just wanna get a couple of dB of gain reduction. A little over two to one is fine. I want to slow down the attack. Auto release is fine. And let's just go to the right side and do the same thing. Slow down the attack. Auto release, just check they're about equal. Okay, they're both triggering roughly the same. All right, it's doing its job nicely already. Now to tweak it some more, I can set up the sidechain detection circuit to listen for the kick and bass. So to avoid triggering when those are playing, because I don't want those compressed as much. So I'm going to start by just soloing the kick and bass. That's an acoustic bass in this case. And I'm going to set this to listen mode and high pass. Set it to somewhere around, probably around there. Let me just do this quickly on the other side as well. Sidechain detection. And listen. So it's getting very little of that. So if I dial up the threshold, it's barely triggering it. Whereas if it's off, you see how it's reacting to that frequency range. Let's go back to listen mode and we'll have to reset these to taste. So I'm going to go to on now. So it's on and let me just go to both sides and we'll reset those thresholds. Let's put everything in. So I can dial up a bit more threshold here because it's not reacting to the bass. And on this side, down the makeup game slightly if I want to do level matching still a bit more but it's a much more nuanced type of detection and reaction that's already fattening and thickening things up really nicely now here's what else I can do. I can go into this gear menu icon and I can have this work instead of on left and right on mid and side mode. So again, another level of nuance. And now these refer to the mid and side. So let's see how these react. My filtering is still in place. So I don't have to worry about the kick and bass. So you can see on the side, there's not as much signal. I can bring up the input gain a bit on that side. or the makeup gain, or even just the output. And you'll see that the output and input are unique for mid and side. So there I've got a wider mix by bringing up the sides, although I can still bring this down a bit. Very nice, subtle, and complex nuanced bus compression. You can see it's just barely triggering when we're in graph mode. Here we'll 
got a graph on as well. We can even dial in a bit more. Just so we can see it triggering a bit more. There we go. That's good. So widening it up and adding glue. Now to further add interest and color to it, we can use one of the distortion algorithms. I personally like soft for the most aggressive of them. It does add volume though. Again, we can compensate with the output or even blend it in parallel. And again, uniquely for each side. Beautifully wider. So as you can see, Logic's compressor is a very nuanced and sophisticated tool for mix bus processing. This is Eli Kranzberg for Logic Pro Expert.